What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial and this one I'm going to show you guys how you can make something like this and this is part three of my how to make a banner series. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. They're really fun to make. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go down to the description, download that file that says GFX, and it'll have everything I use in this video. Or if you don't want to download it, you can either click on the project link in the description, or you can just use your own pictures. But I'm going to supply you guys with the things I use in this video to make it easier for you. And that's really all I got to say. So let's start out by going to new project, type in 2560 for the width and 423 for the height. We will end up changing this to 1440 at the end. But for now, we're going to keep it at 423. Hit create. Now we have our blank canvas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a stock image that I have. And it is this one right here. I'm just going to hold shift to proportionally resize it up and fill the entire banner. So here we go. Hit that check mark now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my text tool over here. Left click anywhere on your canvas and type in your name. So mine is Cambit. Hit control A to select all of it and I'm going to change the size up here to about 200. This looks pretty good. I'm going to change the font over here to EDO. I don't know how to say it. Edo, Edo, whatever you want to call it. That's what it is. And now I'm just going to go up here to warp. Click the style button and change it to rise. Now change the bend to about 12%. Hit OK. Hit that check mark and move this to the center. There you go. So now we're ready to move on to the next part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on my text, go to color overlay, change the color to white, and I'm going to add a stroke now, change the size to about nine, change the blend mode to multiply. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the plus sign again to add another stroke. And this time I'm going to turn the size up even more, change the blend mode this time to normal and change the color to white. So what you can do is you can make the size even bigger for the multiply one to make the gap bigger like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit OK. We are all done with our text now. So now what you want to do is go over here to your brush tool. Make sure the color is black, the top box. Hit OK. Go up here to this little drop down arrow and click this number 24. Turn the opacity down to about 45. And what you're going to do is you're just going to want to go on your background layer and kind of make sure to rasterize it as well. It'll ask you if you want to, so hit okay. And just start to draw beneath the text to kind of darken it so you can see the text a little bit better because it was kind of hard to see. The background was pretty bright and there you go. So now it's easier to see your text and we're done with that now. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to add a light spot right up here. So how you do that is we're just gonna go over here to create a new layer and we're gonna change the color this time to white and we're going to turn the size up to about max, which is a thousand pixels. Now just put your mouse a little bit above your banner and left click. And you can hit control Z to readjust it until it looks right. Go ahead and turn the opacity up on it to about a hundred. If you want, make sure this layer is on top of your text as well. It'll look better in the end. So you just want a subtle light right there. So now that is good. Now what we're going to do is just change the size to about 280 and we're going to change the color this time to red and just start to tap. Also, I would turn down the opacity to about 50. Now add little dots around your picture like that. And we're going to turn the opacity down on it to about 44 and we're going to make another spotlight above it because it kind of got rid of it so go ahead and make that again make a new layer for this spotlight again and put it right above it so like that maybe a little more subtle like that looks pretty good now we're gonna do is click on your top layer go down here to this little half circle we're going to add brightness and contrast. So turn up your brightness and just leave your contrast or you can turn the contrast down a bit to about negative 10 works. Hit that half circle again. This time go to curves. We're going to go to red, move it up on this line 
and down on this line. Go to green, move it up on this line, down on this line. And for blue, we're gonna move them both up on the line to give it a cool little blue look. So if you hide it, you can see. It's a really nice touch and I personally am a big fan of it. Now what we're gonna do is go down here to the sap circle again and this time go to vibrance. Turn the vibrance up and the saturation down just a tad to about negative 10. So just to kind of get some of the color out so it looks really nice. And um, if you still think it's a little too bright below your text, you can just go back to that layer with the shadows, which is I think this one, or no, it's on the background. And go ahead and just apply more darkness to it. It's super easy to do. So like that. And now we're getting close to the end. So now what you want to do is go to your brush tool again, turn the size up to a thousand, make sure the opacity is about 54 and make sure the color is black. Now just left click on each side of your banner like that. And it will sort of darken the outside, but I would make it kind of subtle, not too extreme, just enough like that. Looks good. And that is going to conclude it. Now what you want to do is just go up to image, canvas size this time change the height to 1440 hit okay and now you got your banner i also forgot to mention you'll be able to change the color of this banner by going to this hue and saturation layer clicking on this box right here and just adjusting the hue slider so you can make it green you can make it another green you can make it purple whatever you want you can do it so there you go so I hope this helped you guys. If it did, leave a like and subscribe. The project links will be in the description below, as well as the GFX I used in this tutorial. So thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.